Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. Today friends, we're going to make the awesome picnic the Snapdragon showed us, so let's get cracking. Friends, if you haven't seen it before, this is Snapdragon's amazing Tinkercad picnic. I made a shout out, you'll be able to find that in the cards up above. Right now we're building the pieces, we already made the blanket, you'll find that tutorial in the cards up above, and now it's time to make the basket. Friends, the first step of the process, of course, is to get into Tinkercad. Let's rename it Picnic Basket. Once you get that typed in, we're going to use the brand new search tool. Click right here, and we're going to use something called Weave. When you type Weave and press Enter, you will get a flat weave, and the one we're going to use is the round weave. When you bring this out, we need to stand it up. If you click on this one right here, you can use the rotation handle. You can also just type 90 and press enter. Friends, now that we have this weave, check it out. We're gonna change the curve angle to 360 and press enter. Notice now it goes in a complete circle. We need more columns though. So instead of four, we're gonna simply type 20 and press enter and you have got the basket. Notice it's a little bit below zero. If we hit D, it drops to the top of that work plane. If you want to adjust the spacing, you can drag these to different spots to spread them out just a little bit as well. I recommend just experimenting with them until you get the exact amount that you think is cool. Let's quickly add a bottom. I'm gonna go back to our basic shapes, so I'm gonna close the search, and we're just gonna bring in a cylinder if you look at this from the top, we can select them both and we can hit align. So I'm going to click on the basket, choose middle and choose middle. I'm going to click on this bottom piece and I'm going to make the side 64 so it's round. I'm going to make it real small and then friends, I'm going to use one of my favorites, alt shift. I'm going to hold that with my left hand and I'm going to just stretch this out till it touches the bottom of my basket the way I want. Then I'm going to make it back to skinny so it's the exact size I want. Now I'm going to pick a color for my basket. I'm going to choose this tan and I'm going to choose this tan. And friends, it is time to add the top to our picnic basket. We're going to do that once again with the sweet search. This time we're going to type twist. When you press enter, you get this little fella right here. Once again, when you bring it out, it has got parameters. Let's take that first string parameter and take it down to about 2.5 and press enter. Let's make the inner diameter 20, so that way it'll match closer to our shape. And let's change the number of twists to five. Notice it does take a moment for the math to all happen. I'm going to pick my color. I'm going to stay with that same color. And now, friends, let's line it up. I'm going to click on the twist. I'm going to click on the weave, and I'm going to do a line. I want the weave to be the boss. I'm going to go center, center, and top. Notice it is not quite big enough, so once again, Alt and Shift with one hand, and we can stretch it out and get it to the exact size we want. If you want to be more precise, you can switch to your 0.1 millimeter nudge. Once again, Alt Shift, and I'm going to just pull that out to the exact spot that I think is pretty cool. Let's use F to fit view. Oh my gosh, friends, you have got a picnic basket just like that. A good picnic basket needs a handle. Let's go back to basic shapes and let's build our handle with a tube. Remember, we had that radius of 20, so let's put 18 so the handle's a little smaller. Let's put our wall thickness at 0.5, and then let's squeeze it down nice and thin. That looks pretty groovy. I think I'm going to type 0.75. You can adjust that however you want. And then we're going to cut it off so we can attach it. We're going to do that with a whole box. I'm going to bring it out, and let's get it close to half. Group, and then we can simply drag it into place. You can use Control up to lift it up. Notice I had 0.1 on, I'm going to switch back to my one millimeter nudge. And then you can give it a tilt so it looks just the way you want. Notice if you come outside the circle, it goes one degree at a time. If you stay inside that blue circle, it rotates 22 and a half degrees at a time. So you can find the exact angle that you like, pick your color, and drop it into place. Notice I'm going to do control down and nudge it in until I am exactly happy. Notice it doesn't quite line up, so I'm just gonna shrink it that way, and then you also 
can stretch it out. But notice this stretches it wackadoodle. I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to do undo, and you need to find a flat side. So if we put the work plane right on this edge, now when you stretch it out, it does the exact stretch you want. How cool is that? There's your work plane back on the bottom. And I'm going to nudge this up so the handle's a little higher. Let's see what happens if I just do control up. I think right there is where I want it. Now, friends, when you create a part like this, if you're happy with it and you want to reuse it again and again, don't forget to make it as a part. Select it all, switch to your creations, and choose Create Shape. Give it a name. This is going to be called Picnic Basket. You don't have to give a description unless you want to. And then down here, I'm going to put picnic. I'm going to put basket. And I'm going to put weave because this was the first time I used weave. And it helps me remember all my shapes. If we wait patiently, it should show up over here. There it finally is. And I never locked the part size. And I'm going to hit save shape. So friends, there you have it, an amazing picnic basket thanks to the awesome skills of Snapdragon. Don't forget you really need to check out the shout out of her amazing design. Friends, if you ever make something awesome and want to share it with me, don't forget it is so simple. Click that icon, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter, I am HL Tinkercad. Of course, friends, if those options aren't available to you, don't forget, you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I've got the awesome page dedicated to Tinkercad, and then down at the bottom is the sweet message tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or share link, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to remind you about the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. While you're out here, though, don't forget to hit the Designer Showcase. This houses the designer directory with so many amazing Tinkercad profiles, including Snapdragons. When you open these, don't forget, find those amazing designs like the picnic and give them a reaction for how awesome their work is. Another bonus tip, friends, don't forget to sort by latest to see what cool creations they're working on now. Oh my gosh, great stuff, Snapdragon. One other reminder, friends, while you're on this page, if you're interested in your own shout out, this is where you can request a shout out if you need more steps. Of course, there's a tutorial. Finally, friends, though, I've got to say thanks again to Snapdragon for sharing her awesome designs with us. Oh my gosh, epic skills, and it's been so much fun recreating the parts so other people can make them as well. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.